you know, <laughs> I keep coming back to China just because, you know, it, it just didn't know. <laughs> uh, other people who, who are angry about that just get together e nation wise. That, well, yeah, e nation wise. It's not e nation anymore because that name isn't closed. Can we, can we just call it e nation? I don't know, but there's still these other people called e nation. They're eh, it's, you know, the, the people of the group. You know, get together and say, oh, well, I like this. We're going to have protests. We're going to have these things. And then, you know, when someone's about to be, uh, you know, whisked away and thrown in jail for their, for their beliefs, we'll show up. <laughs> We've already got this plan. We, we are the network. We are, you know, flexible and we are compassionate. I want to stress that. Because you could do this flexibility from any, any particular end, good or evil. I'm going to do the good side. Um... And then we, you know, end up finding someone before they're about to be horribly arrested or whatever, and then we, like, you know, escort them away, or we protect them, or we... Anything. Someone says, you know, uh, I, I've been, I don't know, attacked recently on the street, you know, and I'm afraid to leave my house. And then someone else uh, just happens to knock on their door one day. And, you know, this opens up and say, hey, who are you? And they're like, oh, um, Sonic Sun's here. I'm, I mean, it's like an ID badge. You flip it up. I'm here from the group. I'm here to provide uh, bodyguard service. You know, imagine, imagine these 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 things come out of nowhere. Things that people weren't even expecting. But someone becomes aware that someone that someone that someone that someone someone needs help, and someone else eventually comes up and says, "Hey, I'm here to provide whatever it is you happen to need." <laughs> imagine if we we actually make that happen. Imagine feeling uh, secure in this idea. In knowing that, like, if you were ever in trouble, you could, you know, flip up open a cell phone or something, and call some number, hit some, I don't know, you know, but you would send some signal in some way that would somehow alert the group. And people know you're in trouble, and whoever it is that's capable of helping you in whatever way, it could be, it could be, it could be long, you're an alcoholic, a long-term sort of thing, or it could be a short-term thing, like, I've been attacked. There was some guy, recently, I uh, saw some dig. He was arrested uh, in Egypt, I think it was, um, and he has a Twitter account, and he happened to type in a Twitter with his cell phone, arrested, and then like all this pressure came down on the Egyptian government, and they eventually let him go. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine having this? See, this is how we're supposed to feel, you know, in, in a nation that, like, you know, if, if, if you're in trouble, the police would help. You. This is supposed to be even better than the police. This is a whole giant network, They're constantly evolving and shifting and stuff. Imagine being in trouble, and, and through Twitter, or through any other, maybe you just like get this little, like a button, that's just like an emergency button you could hit if anything happened to you, you know, uh, and it would read like your GPS coordinates, and then like, the group would know, and someone would show up. That, that would be the idea. It's still a fair way to filter out that someone who shows up is in fact someone who's actually going to help you, and it's social ways of judging people, essentially, so we can, we can call out the haters, you know, and, and, and focus on the people who are de more dependable, and, and, and the more, you know, someone does for this group, the more they get from it. Imagine someone just living as a member of the group, of, they, they, they just do, essentially, good deeds, and because enough people are aware of it, you know, enough people send in little donations, oh, I saw that thing you did, that's, that's good, here's ten bucks. You know, or here's a loaf of bread. Here's you, know, whatever. And just living off of that, <laughs> you could be a professional good deed doer. Wow, that sounds, I know, that sounds uh, completely imaginary and completely non-realistic. Uh, but you can say I'm a dreamer. I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us, and the world will be as one. Uh, I'm sure you all know what that's a quote from. That's the idea. That's... And I, I, I don't know exactly how this will work. I didn't even have a freaking name for it yet. And yes, we just co-opt E-Nation. Compassion Net. Or human Net. It's like humans. Care people. <laughs> I don't know. But the, the, these ideas. So, um... So English... Disposus... And, and other people that I mentioned that haven't even opted in to join the group, but we could help them anyway. You know, we could, uh... I would just love that, you know. Somehow we have, like, the funds and the resources. I, you know, someone walks up to, uh, to Lamperlegan and is like, you know, uh, Mr. Austin Hale? 
Hey, yes, sir. Well, we have a, a grant here, or $1,000, from the group. If you like your uh, book you've written so far, you want to write more of it. <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs> You'd be like, what? <laughs> a sort of planned serendipity, almost. <laughs> Chaotic. Compassion. That, that, that's the idea. I'm still working on it, obviously. But uh, we got a few people interested already. We'll go from here. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. See you later.